Okay. Um, our next topic is on the input and output uh, and storage function of the computer. So, kung ligad, uh, we, we just identified lungid ang mga several devices na ginagamit natin for input and output and storage, but this time will be more specific. Nagay kung ano ang mga terminologies and other ng mga devices kung paano sila ka function. So, again, share my screen. I don't know if uh, the full screen is inside. The full screen is that. Yes, sir. Okay, so our objectives here is to identify. First again, and if I describe the input output devices as well as uh, the storage devices and how they, they are connected to the computer and a few uh, terms naman or in some of them already identified not on as our input and output device but uh, not, we have to be more specific naman as to what uh, it should be devices uh, works kung paano nyo sila mag uh, interact sa aton nga uh, system unit so we also have these terms output devices mga pointing mga money SSD, SSD storage, SSD and uh, video input so definition again uh, input devices it gets you to have your data and commands uh, enabled to get inside the computer so, ang kamayin natin is from the start is ang development of the computer is the keyboard. So, even before yung um, first na no, before the mouse was developed, ang keyboard yun ang pinakauna natin nga part yun sa computer as uh, basing on our history sa computer. So, it is the, the basic input uh, device for entering numeric and alphabetic data for a computer. And they have a wide variety na sa buong so we have wireless, ergonomic, specialized keyboard, security, and flexible. So for a mouse, the common pointing device. The pointing device when we said uh, when we define it as a pointing device, it allows a user to position pointer. Pointer is a pointing device. It allows a user to position pointer. Pointer is a pointing device. It allows a user to position pointer. Pointer is a pointer device. It allows a user to position pointer. Pointer is a pointing device. So the commonly used uh, pointing device is the mouse or for our personal computers and also for other types of uh, uh, scale of, this, of these devices. So a morning before, the um, trackball is like a up, upside down version of the mouse. And the ball a morning before when uh, uh, the basic uh, development of the mouse is the use trackballs. Nga, lagi na sa dalawang natin, but uh, they also have this uh, upper upside down version wherein ang trackball ara sa babaw. So, we use it nga to navigate the the pointer up to the specific location and we, we use the click functions sa uh, left left and right side niya sa uh, amun ng device. So, medyo may iban pang nga version sa mga nag-amun sin eh. Itong ang aton makita mo di sa aton common nga mga mouse naton sa bang is may money scroll nga function so, mon, so basically amo gyud nag, nag replace sa uh, trackball nga position before sa mga early yung uh, uh, version of the mouse so we also have joystick in in the wheel as also pointing devices po ang ila function na is for gaming nga so money pointing stick para mo sa gaming and we also have other input devices using like the graphics tablet. So if you are if you are a digital artist, no, ma maning sila ginagamit nila as uh, to draw out the digital version of the drawings. So maning graphics tablet natin. Or we also have stylus, no, maning do digital pen natin to input uh, 
a specific uh, mga na drawing or uh, graphics na ipubutang natin then we'll start touch display screen naman sa atin mga cellphones audio voice input mga touchpad natin scanners for documents digicam this one digicam natin mga high end mga digicam and for video input and virtual de devices and touch sensitive pad these are just the other terms and common natin for your input devices then for biometric input amaning term natin nga uh, what we have for sa mga iba natin na laptops they have this biometric cable scanner we in it is an authentication technique by using a person's physiological or behavioral characteristics so if you uh, notice na no, kung sa ibang laptop may aran sa biometric or sa ito na may if we go no magsula sa mga office ng no, mga may check attendance na sila by using the biometric input para nga to authenticate din natin nga ano nga identity natin nga ara tapos sa uh, muntong lugar at a specific time so also the same gin sa sa laptop uh, they also use uh, specific biometric uh, scanner nga kung hindi ikaw ang owners ng mga laptop you can visit you can at uh, access gid ang mga mga device they would also need a uh, biometric input para ma-unlock mo siya and storage devices sa mga natong kagina uh, certain data for RAM, longer uh, time storage, we use hard drive or USB drive. So, these storage devices are then categorized under these three by their technology and uh, how they were, no, no, how they were created. Um, first is the magnetic technology and the optical, among the optical drives, not on, and the current, yun ang naging common naman gulo sa buong solid state ay mabati ama ng terms na as uh, SSD SSD hardware ng mga mga silang hard disk mo SSD or solid state storage media then as we go with the magnetic uh, ano na, magnetic storage devices uh, may, may coating na silang plastic which they call as the mylar and then how the data is stored is via tracking the they are the tracks within the disk ay may may magnet may magnetic na siyang material sa sulod nga dira na silang dira na mga data mga ginabutang so ginat label ang ibang data each track is labeled and location is kept in a file allocation table ang mga shortcut nila for the term na fat or fa file allocation table uh, uh, as, as the storage uh, storage uh, input for the tracks so, kung una up time yun yun before, sa una may mga version ba sang portable or the smaller version for magnetic storage. We have the floppy disk and hard disk and also the magnetic tape. So, before kung, mag, kung na notice nyo kagi na to sa ito, na example, sang basic computers na may floppy disk drive pa sila. Which is now being, now being obsolete na. But, uh, among itong isang example na ito nga may portable tanga na pwede na ito madala ng mga magnetic storage devices so those are one of our examples today so mga hard disk na ito so if you notice na may ano siya may arm na siya nga to write down or to to store data and also to retrieve ang mga yung ginagamit niya para mag-scan through, di, through this disk may term na disk kahit may disk yun sila, may pile yun sila sa disk dali sa sulod for ano, uh, so storing yung data nga nakabutang through tracks and sa optical naman yung version, naman yung mga CD na ito so CD and DVD are examples of optical storage devices so using laser technology to read write and silver platters naman na ito nga uh, storage uh, method niya and ang Blu-ray na sabong kung may uh, Blu-ray is uh, another ano, uh, higher level of uh, optical storage devices natin which uh, have have already replaced yung mga conventional na DVDs natin they have a higher capacity and uh, ang ilang speed mas uh, taas man 
in terms of the data processing and storage. So for solid state storage, no money at all. Uh, these are our miniature NSB flash drives. They are usually non volatile, so they are processed electronically and no moving parts. No mga mga insula. Usually these are used for camera, mga atom yung mga digital camera, mga MP3 files natin, or sa mga iban mga input devices nga makagather sa information sa mga muna mga micro drives ano uh, pa mga devices natin may mga gamit sini pero silang USB natin sa buong is more ano eh, kaya rin nila mag cover sa mga higher nga mga data eh, may example mga 4 gig ni may, may mga dako pa naman may 16 may mga 32 or higher pa dara for uh, uh, data storage so caring for storage medium uh, we go with the method ng old school no? keeping away them for magnetic fields so mga floppy disks na to medyo ba ano siya mga cd na to hindi sila we don't usually store them near these uh, devices na may mga magnetic field and also avoid mga extreme temperature and uh, remove them from drive and store them properly when not used. That's why mga aton ng mga floppy disk may ara sila dala ng mga case. The same sa aton ng mga CD and DVD may mga plastic cases. Sila nga ito kung why mo ginagamit ng iyong mga ano, mga, or why mo ginagamit for storage or processing ikakson mo gin sa system unit and put, and put them in the plastic nga silod lang nila. So, I'm um, only holding up uh, all this at the edges to avoid uh, scratching the the data and uh, data writing part. So, also for as in a process na ito, itong ano, ito yung so makita nyo, nakamang sa mga CD-ROM nyo, may mga gasiga na yung uh, indicator. So, um, at, at best as possible, we should avoid uh, removing those para nga dito mag uh, magguba tong amo uh, tong uh, storage device so start using storage cases for transporting so makita nyo na usually may before may mga may mga baligya sila ng uh, uh, multiple stack of uh, case na no, for this uh, or habal ng this uh, CD CD bag na dira tanan nga pwede nyo matago ang mga installation and uh, storage disk ninyo so, mabagal ang galing nga subong medyo ano na siya, obsolete na sa kayo nag-replace nag na sa natin sa natin yung mga USB drives or mga flash drive natin for mas easier nga ano, mas easier nga, nga mas hapos sila daloon mas hapos sila gamitin kung mas ano, basta mo nga data ang makuha niya Okay, so now <coughs> we, we, we go out with the output data and after the Initial input uh, processing storage. So the last step for this uh, cycle is the output. No? So when we define output, these are printed text, spoken words, music, pictures, video, or graphics. That uh, that these are data that uh, that has been processed for a specific use or basically any useful format na napagawa from the computer. So, kung mag ng itong basic uh, monitor, these are our, our basic output devices. It displays a uh, specific uh, data na output natin. So, the three the three types are CRT, LCD, and uh, gas plasma. No? But sabong may LED, muna natin yung LED. And ano pa sabong isa ka, ano? Isa pag ikabago nga klase sa monitor. Uh, mas ano nagi siya mas compact mas uh, mas refine nagi nang iyang output na uh, resolution kag mas uh, ano mas lightweight nagi siya again for printers uh, for physical mga paper works to this are cut then categorized according to its speed speed print quality and price so they have these two uh, models no impact in an impact so if we go with the term that impact among may physical siya nga 
ginaubra sa ato nga output output uh, medium for example sa paper na tonti ang that matrix if you see the number sa mga impact nga uh, how uh, that matrix printer will print out mo dog na literally ginaud pod digid ang taga parts sang isa ka write up or ang manong parts ang document nga text whereas sa laser kaysa inkjet ya yeah, nan impact sila kay in a sense to be daw mas ano sila mas tasig sila mag uh, produce ng output and can mas uh, detalyado mas clear mas uh, refined pag ito yung ila output as compared sa that matrix type of uh, a model type of uh, printer so we also have specialty printers sa mga mga thermal no mobile label and platters for this other example sa mga platters now is for uh, large scale maps na may para sa mundo sa office na mamera kami itong specific printer for printing out uh, um, maps, no, document sa uh, city, for example, being sa location ng property map or uh, map mismo sa uh, city, gitsa ng lilo. They can produce this specific uh, output na large scale using this uh, type of uh, specialty printers. So for other output devices, we have this uh, list, no? speakers, headsets, this wall na fax machines natin or fax modems to uh, set, uh, send out, uh, out uh, communication man through this uh, device and multifunction ng mga machine na mo nang subong uh, uso, subong uh, use, usually does the scanning and printing and also function as a copy, copy machine, photocopying machine and also for fax, uh, no, fax uh, communications and we also have data projectors sa maning kung mag uh, sa bold mag face to face kung mga mga lectures na no, may may projector na ang inyong mga instructor na it will put out uh, a similar output with what uh, you will see in the machine kung anong output ng isang screen nila makikita nyo man dara so this yung way mas, mas bigger na galing iya nga no? ang iya nga range as compared sa if you if you would use a typical uh, monitor uh, for connecting this so ang itong ang term na kina sa between the uh, using the ports sa processor na sa ato yung motherboard so this, those are physical connections na mahabal natin uh, in, in the opposite matter man uh, we have the uh, wireless connection so we use infrared or radio waves to connect to devices so subong we usually have uh, no, our no, laptops no, or laptops connect our modem or uh, cell phones to connect our laptops through a wireless connection no, so those are uh, one of the few examples for connecting this uh, input and output devices to the computer so so, so uh, as a summary and many of them Input devices, input data and commands. So keyboard and mouse are the common devices. So listed the many bandi. And to maintain a permanent copy of data, you have to store it in some type of a storage medium. So these are storage medium form form in three categories: uh, magnetic, optical, and solid state. Whereas example of uh, output devices are monitors and printers yet. So monitors produces soft copy whereas printers are for hard copy na then for physical din nga paper. Aside sa soft copy which are just uh, the digital uh, digital documents that we can see on our monitors. So mana producing hard copy the process is for uh, re result so basing on speed print quality and cost among the categories of certain printer and input and output devices connected to the computer through wireless or physical connection using cables through cables and through ports and from wireless naman infrared or radio waves or upon your bluetooth bluetooth nga technology so that's set up for this Yes, on the side, input, output, and devices. Uh, any, you know, questions as to specific na mga input, output, ito na itong uh, nagamit.
Wala man, sir. So far, may mga uh, na-familiarize naman ng ibang nga or may hindi ka mga uh, let's say input or output niya na wala na mention niya na naka-agay ano, niya gamit. Uh, 